Windows open with application not appearing as an option. For some reason lately I've experienced this issue with trying to set a default application for an extension. The most common ways are the following. Right click is greater than open with is greater than choose default program this opens a dialog window with the option to browse any application to use for one time only or by checking the appropriate checkbox, this would effectively set the default application for the selected file type. Control panel backslash programs backslash default programs backslash set associations this settings page allows you to set the default program for every known file type. Just as in option number one, you select the change program button and from the dialog window you selected the new default application. For many Windows users this is nothing new, the problem is what about when the application I want doesn't appear in the options. I even browse and find the .exe file I want and select it and still it does not appear as an option. How do I get the application to appear as an option so that I can set it as the default application? After some googling I found an answer along with other forums with no sufficient answer so I thought this would make for a helpful post. Step 1. First you need to get the associated name of your file type. In the command prompt, be sure to run as admin, run the following. Associates, file type. For example, associates.php. Should output.php equals file file, this is what you need for the next part. Step 2. Once you have the file type association that you would like to change you will run the ftype command on it. Ftype, file underscore association, equals, absolute path to application, percent one. For example, Ftype file file equals, c column backslash dropbox backslash st3 backslash sublime underscore text dot exe, percent one. That command effectively added sublime text as a recommended application for file file type associations. Now when I use the normal Windows methods for settings a default application it appears without even having to browse for it. Success! Full description can be found here. Bonus points. If you get a response like the following, file association not found for extent ion then you simply need to create an association for that extension with the following. For example. Once the association is made which you can verify using the steps above, then you can proceed with associating it to a default application. Thanks for all the help. I recently installed Sublime Text 3 on Windows 7, and it wasn't allowing me create certain file associations. I had to use an elevated command prompt and the command type to do add the file associations. For anyone interested in a speedy fix for common web development files, just run these commands individually, command console as administrator, and from root C. The confirmation message for each should read something like this equals. You get the idea? Now you can use these commands for any file type and program. Now all these file types should appear in the file association, open with, dialog, not a drone on, but to add Sublime 3 to the right-click context menu here's a great fix that works well. This URL? Feld posted the solution in the Sublime forum, link. Open navigate to hk underscore classes underscore root backslash applications backslash sublime underscore text dot exe backslash shell backslash open backslash command verify that the path is accurate, correct it if it is not. Exit reject it. Open task manager via control plus alt plus del, kill explorer dot exe, go to run and type explorer dot exe, or skip the step and simply reboot. Now attempt the same thing, right click a text file, open with, Navigate to Sublime, and it should now appear in the list of available applications. The problem that I had was that the path wasn't updated when I changed to ST3 from ST2.